Hi, welcome to Gaim Lab Tutorials for Hyper-V Virtual Machine Backup and Restore with Networker. First, we will demonstrate how to backup virtual machines running on Hyper-V 2016 using the Dell EMC Networker 19.2. We will install Networker 19.2 for Windows X64, as well as Networker module for Microsoft on the Hyper-V server. There is no need to install anything inside the virtual machines themselves. First, you install the Networker client. Agree to the terms. You can leave everything default or select your own custom installment. Once installed, install the Networker module. You can leave everything default or select your own custom installment. Add your Hyper-V as a client on the networker. Select Hyper-V server. Next. Next. Select which application or VMs to back up. Once the client is added, go to the Hyper-V and modify the properties. Click on Apps and Modules and add the Hyper-V's credentials. Create a new group. Name it. Select the Hyper-V client. Press OK. Create a policy. Name it. Create a workflow. Add the group. Name the backup. Choose a backup pool. Configure options and configure. Once done, start the backup. We can view the progress in the monitoring tab. Now let's delete a virtual machine to test the full recover. Once deleted, we need to open the networker user for Microsoft. Here, we enter the networker server address. Make sure to have the Hyper-V plugin active. Click on Recover. Scroll to Hyper-V Recover Session. Image Recovery. Select the backup. Click on Recover at the bottom of the page. Choose the Recovery option and start. At the end of the recovery, we can review the log file. Back on the Hyper-V, we can see the VM has been fully recovered. Now let's demonstrate the granular level recovery. This method is used to recover specific files or folders from a virtual machine. On the Hyper-V host, open Networker user for Microsoft. Click on Recover. Scroll to Hyper-V Recover Session. Granular Recovery. Right-click on the machine that contains the content to be recovered. Select Mount. In the Monitoring tab, we can see the mount is successful. Return to the Recover tab to see the contents of the virtual machine. Select the files to recover. At the bottom, click Recover. 
Next, choose a location to recover the files. Note that the files will be covered on the Hyper-V host itself, and not the virtual machine. Click Start, and look at the progress in the Monitoring tab. Once it's done, we need to browse the location where the files have been recovered on the Hyper-V host. From here, we can copy the files and paste them to the virtual machine. Thank you for watching.